A blessed day to everyone. Today is November 11, 2022. I'm Sister Bobot Arpello and I would like to encourage you through God's Word. Our topic today is a, power, a powerhouse of protection. According to Isaiah uh, chapter 54, verse 17, No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Praise God for the reading of his word. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Isn't that great news? Isn't it good to know that no sickness, no circumstance, no problem that arises, that rises against you can successfully bring you down? Since years, some years ago, one of our friends was facing a lawsuit. He and I prayed together according to the scripture and agreed it was the final word in the situation not the allegations against him. We stood in faith believing that lawsuit had to fail. Sure enough, when my friend went to court, they just couldn't beat him. He didn't win that case because of his keen and witty lawyers. He won because he was innocent and because he had believed that powerful promise of God. Follow his example. When the devil attacks you in some area of your life, don't sit around crying and begging God to save you. Open up your Bible to Isaiah 54 verse 17 instead. Remind yourself of what God has promised you. God, use that promise to strengthen yourself against sin and every other evil work the devil would like to use to keep you bound. Then establish yourself on it through prayer. Say, Lord, I refuse to be afraid of this weapon the devil has brought against me, because I know that according to your word, it cannot prosper. I trust you to protect me, and I thank you for it now. In Jesus' name, Amen. Don't let the powerhouse of God's protection go to waste. Put it to work in your life. It is your rightful heritage as a servant of the Lord. For more scripture reading, you can read Isaiah chapter 54, verses 10 to 17. Hallelujah, praise God. Thank you, Father God, for assuring us that no weapon formed against us shall prosper because you are the one who is protecting us from the wiles of the enemy. Thank you, Father God, that we are assured that no matter how the devil would try to destroy us, it will not uh, be effective because you are with us. You are with us and you will protect us. You will fight for the battles. And Father, thank you for that assurance that as your children, we are protected by you, Father God. So always remember that the Lord will always be with us and no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Even if people will come to uh, say negative things against us, it shall not prosper. We will not be affected by it as long as we continue to dwell in God's word and promises to us. Let us always come back to his word. Every time we hear depressing stories or depressing comments from people, let us always uh, ask for God's strength so that we may not be deceived by the enemy. And it is his promise that as we continue to dwell in his presence and continue to seek his face and continue to uh, claim the word and promises to us, the enemy cannot penetrate to us. He will not win 
because we are all victors in the Lord. So the next time that you will encounter problems in your life, always tell that enemy that no weapon <clears throat> formed against us shall prosper because that is what the Lord is telling us. So a blessed day to everyone and may God bless us all. To God be all the glory.